Today I'm just going to take you guys on a productive morning routine with me. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. It's going to be a very realistic morning routine in my life. I am in bed, 7 o'clock. I was supposed to wake up at 6.30 and I always snooze. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a snoozer. I, I have to hit it at least once. But I need to get up. I'm so tired. Nala is always the last one to get up. I'm telling you, she will not get up unless I bribe her with food. She's just like her mama. But we're going to have a productive morning. Let's get up. Good morning. sunscreen and moisturizer. It makes your skin so glowy. I feel like it just makes you look so much more awake and it also has SPF in it so it protects you from the sun all day. This is key to looking more awake in the morning. It's the Tula Rose Glow and get it? Eye balm? Rub that in, makes you look super awake. And always go in with chapstick. best night of sleep last night because we put on new fresh sheets which is the best there's nothing better than climbing into like a warm bed at night like freshly washed sheets these are the brook linen sheets it's the Lux hardcore sheet set so the duvet cover the sheets the pillowcases that you see it all came in a set and they are my absolute favorite they're so soft so luxurious brook linen is actually offering my subscribers twenty dollars off any orders over one hundred dollars so i will have that link down below they're my absolute favorite sheets i've ever owned. Sheets can be really expensive, some ranging from $500 or more. And Brook Linen's like whole belief is that everybody deserves to have luxurious, simple items at home with hotel quality, but not the hotel luxurious markup. You literally spend one third of your life in sheets and laying in bed. So you deserve hotel luxurious quality without spending an arm and a leg. And Brook Linen gives you that luxurious quality at a much more affordable price. You can save 25% when you shop the bundle instead of buying individual items. The Lux Satin is my favorite, but I have the classic sheets and they're amazing too. You really can't go wrong. You can also choose to mix and match from 20 plus different colors and patterns over on their website and I'll have it linked down below. trying to have a more calm morning just because I used to wake up and just immediately grab my phone and start scrolling and I would even start like replying to emails start replying to dms on instagram like the second I woke up I would start communicating with people and looking at what other people are doing and looking at other people's lives and I just think that can be really hard on a person like when you wake up and you're immediately invested in other people's lives and communicating with other people right away and you don't even have a second to just check in with yourself and make sure like you're doing okay so uh, lately i've been trying to just be a little bit more conscious of having a calm morning routine and relaxed morning routine to uh, start my day off like on the right track coffee is pretty much my pre-workout because I cannot go to a morning workout without a little bit of caffeine in my system. 
Nala would stay outside all day if she could. It is so hot, hence why I came indoors. <laughs> and she's barking at the neighbors. Nala, come on. She loves just sitting out there and sunbathing. She will sit out there for hours. Along with being more intentional in the mornings, I have been trying to be better about planning my day out, especially now that I work from home. It can be really easy to not have a plan and just like sleep in and stay in my pajamas all day. So I try to be more structured with my day and start my day off on like a productive note. So I'm a big to-do list person. I love having a planner, especially a planner with like a hefty to-do list because it just gives me a spot to just like get out all my thoughts and get it out of here and get it onto paper so that I know exactly what to do with my day. So the night before, I usually write down the top three things that I need to do the next day just so I can get it onto paper and I don't have to worry that I'm gonna forget about those things. So I have a few things that I really need to do today. I have a client meeting at 2.30 that I cannot forget about. So I also set an alarm on my phone just to remind me I'm a big alarm girl too. I set alarms for everything. I'll set an alarm like 30 minutes before I want to leave for my workout just to make sure that I'm on track and on time. I'm getting lunch with a friend of mine today. I want to film a couple videos. I need to film a reel today. So I just wrote down like my ideas and kind of just a structured plan for how I want my day to go today. I've also never been a huge journal girl, like someone to write down all my feelings. I have always had this weird thing where I feel like I don't feel safe writing down all my thoughts and feelings because I feel like someone's gonna read it and that just makes me feel uncomfy. But I'm trying to do better because I know it can be really helpful to write down all your thoughts and like stresses and worries and like get it out of your head. So I'm starting small and in my daily planner it has a gratitude list. So every morning I just write down the things that I'm grateful for and then they have a separate section for like thoughts thoughts of the day so I just write down anything that's been on my mind and I just want to get it out of my head and onto paper so I'm trying to get better at writing my feelings down more. My workout routine lately has just been kind of like a little mix of strength training and cardio at the gym. And right now I'm kind of in a period of like still adjusting to our new city that we just moved to. I just found a new gym, so I'm starting to get back into a routine, which can be really hard because I went like a whole month without working out at all. It's right out my workout schedule on my notes app. So I basically just have, it's really small, just a little workout plan just to keep me on track. So on Monday I do cardio and some core workouts. Tuesday Day, I do lower body which is today Wednesday it's my like active rest day so I'll usually just go on a long walk I like to take Nala out for like a mile or two mile walk outside and it's just like an active recovery and um, Thursday is upper body and then Friday I like to do like yoga either a hot yoga class or I'll just do yoga like stretching at home so I like to do something every day and then I usually take the weekend off because that's when Kyle's home my boyfriend is a doctor so he is currently a resident working 12 plus hours every Every single day and he'll get maybe one or two days off and whenever he's off I take off and we just like spend the whole day together we, we don't work out and trust me we don't spend that day at the gym I like to find workouts on Instagram I have a few people that I love following I'll have their accounts maybe I'll put like a little list right here or I'll have them down below and they post amazing workouts and I just go to my saved section on Instagram and I pull up um, different type of workouts. I have them in like sections, leg day, abs, full body, booty workouts, arms. So today it is lower body and I actually already saved one. Okay, so today I saved Meg Mo Fit. I'll put her handle right here. She has awesome workouts, especially for beginners and for people who have been doing it a long time. I would say I'm like intermediate. I know what I'm doing in the gym, but I still need guidance and I still need to work on my form a lot. So today I'm going to do a leg workout by her. We got a lot of squats coming up. 
So I'm excited. I haven't done like a full body leg day workout in a really long time. Let's hit it. Type of wealth like a house on the hills can't see us. Say the money still me up. Stay humble, stay teed up. I don't tell you how to live, so don't hit me with no weak stuff. And if you know the deal, then you know the deal. If it's real, then you know it's real. So let's have a toast for the real ones. If I have early meetings, then I'll wake up even earlier or I'll kind of skip <laughs> sipping my coffee outside or in the sunroom and I'll just go straight to the gym like the second I wake up. But like I said, I'm trying to have slower mornings and like and keep my schedule like clear in the morning so that I have time to wake up and my time and drink my coffee and just kind of like ease into the day. Starting off with some foundation. This is just Drugstore Invaluable Pro Matte. I personally really like it. It makes your skin just look like super airbrushed to me. I should have put on before my foundation, but it is a lifesaver. My face is usually a lot more pale than like the rest of my body, just because I don't like to get my face in the sun too much and I wear a lot of sunscreen, so my skin just like never gets any sun. Um, so, my foundation may look a little bit darker, but I promise it'll all blend in. I've been trying to get ready every day, no matter what, like whether I have meetings or not, or whether I'm meeting up with a friend or not, just because it makes me so much more productive. Like whenever I shower, do my makeup, do my hair, put on like a cute outfit, it just makes me feel so much more productive and it makes me want to get things done. workout snack my first real meal of the day even though it's still pretty light so i got the almond butter overnight oats and they're pretty good they're not my favorite i like the vanilla ones a little bit better but they're really filling and a great just like post workout snack all right so my work day is about to begin i have some emails to catch up on i have a meeting in about an hour and then i'm going to get lunch with a girlfriend of mine and a couple of hours from now so i'm going to end off this little morning routine here i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope it inspired you to have a more productive yet relaxing morning routine where you can check in with yourself and have just a better start to your day and don't forget to check out brooklinen i will 
have their link and my discount code for you guys in the description box down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, maybe like a productive night routine, I would love to film it. Just give this video a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it and comment down below any other video ideas that you guys have and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!